And so we are going to be expanding from vertex form to standard form. Here's the equation of a quadratic in vertex form. It's had a stretch of negative 3, so it's an upside down frowny face parabola. And it has a vertex at negative 4 and negative 3. But that doesn't matter. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to simplify the exponents on this particular quadratic. And so I'm going to change this to y equals negative 3 times x plus 4 times x plus 4 and minus 3. There we go. Now the easiest thing for me to do next is to expand these brackets. And so I think I'm going to do that because it keeps me out of trouble. And so I end up with y equals negative 3. I'm just going to leave that alone, although I could deal with it. I'm not going to. Now I'm going to be expanding my brackets. And so everything in this bracket is multiplied by everything in the second bracket. And so I'm going to multiply x times x. And of course, that becomes x squared. Next, I'm going to multiply x times 4. Of course, that becomes 4x. Now I'm going to multiply 4 times x, which becomes another positive 4x. And the last thing I do is multiply 4 times 4, and that becomes 16. So there's my two brackets expanded, and of course I'm still subtracting 3 from this whole mess. We don't have to talk about it here. Inside the brackets, 4x plus 4x is 8x, and so there we go. I am all ready to do a little bit more bracket simplification here, because now I have negative 3 times everything in that bracket. And so negative 3 times x squared is negative 3 x squared, and, and negative 3 times positive 8x is negative 24x, and negative 3 times 16 is negative 48, and of course this whole mess is uh, having 3 subtracted from it still. So, my final step is just to simplify negative 48 minus 3, and there's my quadratic instead. And so there's my final quadratic, y equals negative 3x squared minus 24x minus 51 in standard form.